Okay, uh, check this out. Um, this is a component that I found uh, in Pufferfish. Uh, it's called Move Two Point. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's really simple. It's probably like one of the most simple components uh, in the Pufferfish arsenal. Uh, but sometimes these simple ones are, you know, where we find a, a nice little golden nugget for, you know, workflow efficiency and and space saving. Really, really, this one is is going to be a space saver on the canvas. Um, it's not going to do anything too fancy. Now, it's not always it's, it's not always the best component to use, and I'm going to show you two examples. Um, um, the first one here, um, uh, typically it, when we're using the the standard move uh, move component, there's not going to be too much difference between these two components. So, if we want to, for example, move this box, stack it on top of this box, um, you know, we're going to have to create some kind of translation vector. So we can do a two-point vector, and um, we can basically define uh, one point there, and um, you know, and then we can uh, define one point there, and it's going to stack. Um, so yeah, I just define two points. Um, it's not going to be you know any different um, in in this case, of course. So same result, but. Um, what if we already have our points uh, from, let's say, this populate 2D component? We already have those points, and let's say we build our original B rep on the world axis, which it is, which is good practice for this type of um, this type of uh, this type of thing. Um, and now that we have the, the, the starting point and the uh, destination points already, what we would typically have to do is we'd still have to create a vector and we would, you know, make the uh, world X, Y, uh, you know, we can make our world a world point and then we can plug in our destination point and those can be our vectors. Um, but we can save the, save one extra component. We can kind of skip that component we can plug the world straight into here, and then we can plug the points straight into here, and then we, we basically bypass one extra component. Now, that doesn't seem like much, but you know when you have hundreds of components um, uh, or more on in your in your definition, um, this this instance might come up multiple times. You might be you might be reducing it by dozens of component of components uh, in your overall overall definition. So I thought that was really cool. I kind of uh, I kind of geek out on these like really simple workflow things.